In the bustling landscape of 1970s television, Barney Miller emerged as a beacon of wit and authenticity, standing out amidst the myriad of cop dramas of its time. Its enduring qualities lie in its ability to seamlessly blend humor with the gritty reality of police work, creating a narrative that resonates with audiences even today. What makes this TV series an everlasting symbol of the industry is its sharp writing, memorable characters, and an unwavering commitment to portraying the human side of law enforcement. Speaking of characters, each member of the ensemble cast brings a unique flavor to the precinct, making it a challenge to pick a favorite. From the stoic Captain Barney Miller to the eccentric Detective Wojo, the show's success hinges on the chemistry and diversity of its characters, ensuring that every viewer finds someone to connect with. As we delve into random facts about the show, it's fascinating to note that Barney Miller was not just a police procedural, it was a groundbreaking exploration of workplace dynamics, societal issues, and the daily struggles of those in uniform. The show's creators masterfully infused realism with humor, creating a timeless formula that transcends its original era. Now, we're curious about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Barney Miller. Was it a particular episode that left a lasting impression, or perhaps a character's quirk that became a favorite? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We'd love to hear how this classic TV series has woven itself into the fabric of your life. And there you have it, the stage is set for a journey into the world of Barney Miller, where humor meets humanity, and the precinct comes to life with unforgettable characters and narratives. Share your experiences, and let's celebrate the enduring legacy of this iconic show. John Rich's intervention turned Barney Miller's fate. Initially rejected by ABC, the pilot, titled Barney Miller, The Life, and Times of Barney Miller, found new life after Rich, successful with all in the family, insisted on a second chance. ABC, negotiating with Rich at the time, agreed to a 13-episode commitment. Despite early promise, conflicts with producer and writer Danny Arnold led to Rich's departure after just two episodes. Later, some familiar faces from Barney Miller would reappear in Reinhold Weege's Night Court. Despite the show's success, plans for a feature film during its run never materialized. And that's the straightforward tale of how a rejected pilot, saved by John Rich's influence, became a notable TV series with its share of behind-the-scenes drama. No silver screen adaptation came to fruition, but some faces stayed in the sitcom circuit with Night Court. In the original pilot of Barney Miller, Abby Dalton portrayed Barney Miller's wife Elizabeth. However, when the show was picked up, Barbara Barry took over the role. The pilot also featured Abe Vigoda, Charles Hayde, Rod Perry, Val Bisaglio, and Henry Beckman. These initial cast choices set the stage for the series, establishing the characters that would become integral to the 1975 TV show. Interestingly, the character Harris, played by Ron Glass, took on a unique role within the storyline. When Harris is tasked with producing a porn film for an undercover sting, he adopts the cover name Starry Night Productions. This seemingly minor detail took on a life of its own when show writer Reinhold Weege used the same name for his own production company. This company went on to produce another successful series, Night Court, linking the legacy of Barney Miller to subsequent television successes. Beyond the screen, the fictional 12th precinct where Barney Miller unfolds had a real impact. The set was rebuilt and repurposed for the cop show Castle, highlighting the enduring influence of Barney Miller on television production. These behind-the-scenes details provide a glimpse into the intricate web of connections and decisions that shaped the 1975 TV series Barney Miller and its lasting impact on the television landscape. From cast changes to creative choices, each element played a role in the show's evolution, leaving a lasting legacy in the world of television. Gregory Sierra, a key member of the Barney Miller cast, brought more than just acting chops to the table. Born to Puerto Rican parents, Sierra was not only fluent in Spanish, but also contributed to the diversity of the show. His heritage added an authentic layer to the 12th precinct, reflecting the multicultural nature of the real-world police force. Sierra's cultural background and linguistic skills were just incidental. They became pivotal in portraying the dynamic realities of law enforcement. 
His ability to seamlessly switch between English and Spanish showcased the show's commitment to realism, an element that resonated with viewers. Beyond the confines of Barney Miller, this commitment to authenticity had a ripple effect on the cop show landscape. In a noteworthy turn of events, Barney Miller, along with the PBS documentary series, The Police Tapes, left an indelible mark on the creators of Hill Street Blues. So profound was the influence that Hill Street Blues was initially pitched as Barney Miller Outdoors, underscoring the lasting impact of the 1975 series on the evolution of police dramas. In the intricate web of television connections, it's fascinating to trace how one actor's cultural background not only enriched the show's narrative, but also contributed to a broader shift in the genre. Gregory Sierra's portrayal of a character with depth and authenticity echoes in the legacy of cop shows that followed. In the world of Barney Miller, where every detail mattered, Sierra's cultural contribution became a cornerstone for the series and a catalyst for change in the cop show landscape. It exemplifies how, sometimes, the most impactful stories go beyond the script, creating a lasting imprint on television history. The episodes of Barney Miller were initially taped before a live audience, adding an element of immediacy to the show. This live format, however, was eventually phased out in later episodes. The decision to eliminate this aspect marked a shift in the production style of the series, emphasizing a more controlled and polished presentation. Interestingly, the NYPD hasn't had a 12th precinct since the late 1910 seconds. Despite its fictional nature, the depiction of the 12th precinct in Barney Miller became iconic, showcasing the daily workings of a New York police station. The absence of an actual 12th precinct adds a layer of nostalgia to the show, capturing a snapshot of a bygone era in the city's law enforcement history. While the majority of Barney Miller unfolds within the confines of the police station, 13 episodes dared to venture beyond its walls. Episodes like Barney Miller, Ramon, Barney Miller, Hare, and Barney Miller, Chinatown, Part 1 and 2 took the audience to different locations, providing a glimpse into the diverse challenges faced by the characters outside the familiar precinct setting. These departures from the station setting showcased the versatility of the show, demonstrating its ability to tackle various aspects of law enforcement. The deliberate choice to incorporate scenes outside the police station contributed to the narrative depth of Barney Miller, offering viewers a well-rounded perspective on the characters and their interactions with the external world. In summary, the evolution from live audience tapings, the absence of a real 12th precinct, and the occasional ventures beyond the precinct walls all contribute to the multifaceted nature of the 1975 TV series Barney Miller. These behind-the-scenes elements not only shaped the show's identity, but also added unique dimensions to the portrayal of police work on television. As we bid adieu to the captivating world of Barney Miller, let's not merely close the chapter, but instead open the floodgates of nostalgia. Just like the characters in the precinct, our memories of this 1975 TV gem linger in the corridors of time. What moments made you laugh, introspect, or even shed a silent tear? Barney's sage wisdom, Fish's wry humor, and the eclectic bunch of Detective Esicha thread in the intricate fabric of this beloved series. Now, it's your turn to step into the interrogation room of your mind. What resonates with you? Is it the banter over coffee, the quirky cases, or the way the show artfully captured the essence of an era? Perhaps it's the camaraderie that mirrors your own bonds with friends or colleagues. Barney Miller wasn't just a show, it was a mirror reflecting the human experience, one witty line at a time. So, dear friend, let the echoes of Barney's precinct resonate within you. Share your favorite memories, your cherished moments, and the bits that etched themselves into your heart. The beauty of this show lies not just in the episodes we watched, but in the shared connection it forged among us. Thank you for accompanying us on this journey down memory lane. Your reflections are the missing pieces to this intricate puzzle of nostalgia. Your thoughts, the fuel that keeps the legacy of Barney Miller alive. Until next time, keep those memories close and let the laughter of Barney's crew reverberate in your heart. Appreciatively.